airline and tourism. Um, this comes, yeah. of course, with the second surge, or if, if we can call it the second wave already here in the Philippines. Um, and again, halting or at least limiting the number of passengers to 1,500. You've got Pal already saying they might be canceling some international flights. And now airline losses hitting 65 billion pesos in 2020, according to the to ACAP here. What is the, the state of affairs here? Uh, is this going to be uh, harder than anticipated for these these industries? Um, are you still in any shape or form uh, optimistic for a recovery here? Airlines, given this, would still have a, a difficult time this year, um, given the fact that there's still mobility restrictions and a lot of the consumers continue to be wary of the fact that it, it won't still be this year that they can travel. I, I'm sure all of us are raring to go out and mm -hmm. travel already, but I think the reality is we would need the vaccine rollout to be faster than um, what we are expecting currently. And I think that's the only time when we can have more optimism on the airline industry and the tourism in general. We've started to see um, domestic tourism happen, but I think that's not enough for, for the airline industry to really recoup their losses last year. According to ACAP Director, Executive Director Roberto Lim, so far they've, the aviation sector has only received 800 million pesos versus the 65 billion pesos of losses. They're saying that it's basically you know the families that own these airlines that are putting in the money here and without government support, we really risk uh, completely losing uh, this industry. Um, uh, now that you know, even Secretary Sunny Dominguez has said fiscal prudence will be remaining, um, and they, they basically are not going to be put, pushing in for for more aid for these sectors. What's going to happen here? I mean, can can just as you mentioned, vaccine story, reopening of the economy, flights, sustain this uh, even if they don't have this this fiscal aid? I think that's really a good point that you raised here. I think there should be some financial aid coming from the government. Uh, I think the owners themselves have a certain limit only in terms of how much they can continue to pour in money. They've already right-sized the, their companies. Uh, I think that's one of the largest layoffs that we've seen in the, in the industry last year. Um, the sad thing is, if this continues, you might see further layoffs um, or furloughs for, for this industry. But I think the government has to do something about this um, and partner with the, with the par private sector in order to help alleviate the problems of the airline industry. And I think it will be prolonged.